Hello, everyone. Um, I apologize for the noise outside. Um, so probably this whole video you're going to be hearing a bunch of birds chirping and stuff. Um, my cat is licking. She's drinking water. Okay. But anyways, um, today's video is going to be about uh, my hallucinations. Now, I know I've been over this a little bit before. I've looked through my videos and I never really have talked too in-depthly with my hallucinations. Maybe I have. I'll probably figure that out later that I have. Um, what are you doing? She's so cute. Still taking care of her. She's doing really well. She's 18 and stuff. Old as hell and a very strong and very dominant cat, that is. She slapped the shit out of my dog once. And it was hilarious. Like, I, was, I saw her slap him, and he, like, freaked out. He's kind of scared of cats. He's not very, uh, he's not a very strong and dominant dog. He's more of a, hey, can you get my lap? He's more of, like, a nervous kind of dog. Come here. Come on. Come on. Huh. Let's see if you can see her. What a cutie she is. What are you doing? You're gonna keep meowing at me? Um, but, uh, yeah. <sighs> I didn't make a video. Actually, I don't know how long it's been since I made a video, because I was at my, I was with my girlfriend for about six days, and, uh, I didn't really have a chance to make a video. Just looking at me. Um, she just put her head on me. You are so cute. Okay, so my hallucinations. All right, I've been over this before. I think most people know that I've I hallucinate the girl from the Ring, the Ring series. I think it came out in like 2005 or something. I don't know, but I was. Most people probably don't know, but I was hallucinating before I saw that. See, I've been hallucinating ever since I was five, six years old. And uh, I was talking to my girlfriend quite a bit about it, about how I was destined to be schizophrenic or something. You know, I'm destined to be something. And, uh, and with the type of brain I have, you know, it's a very curious, very creative brain. Now, it's always been like that. I've always been a person who's very introverted, very... You are distracting me, cutie. Very... Paranoid. A very paranoid, very creative, very... Um, I think constantly. My mind's always thinking about stuff. Thinking about theories. Thinking about... Uh, making up a hypothesis for something. I'm always thinking, you know, that's how I've always been. I've always been that type of person who is always using my brain, you know? I'm always using my brain. I think of uh, everything. Like, there's probably very few things in this world that I haven't thought of or haven't thought, of, thought about. So the brain I have has always been a very crazy and pretty crazy brain and what comes with that is I don't know mental illness I guess maybe it was the price I had to pay I don't I don't know but it was, it's something you know I've I've had this illness ever since I was like five six years old and I really don't know why like I didn't really go any go through any trauma when I was five, six years old, you know, I don't even remember then. So maybe I did, but I highly doubt it. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't get it really. It's, uh, it makes me think a lot. It makes me like wonder what, why, why me? Why do I have to have this illness? Why do I have to hallucinate? Why do I have to hear voices? Why do I always have to be paranoid? Why do I always have to be delusional? It's just something that I have to live with, 
And it's something that I honestly couldn't live without now. Because I've had it for so long that I wouldn't even know what it's like to be with without it. And it, it's kind of scary. My future, I'm worried about my future a little bit. I'm worried about what this illness is going to do when I get older. Will it get worse? Will it get better? Now, as of lately, for the past three years, it's been doing really well because I've found the right medication for me. And that's a very good thing to be able to find the right medication. Um, what are you doing? What? And, like, I wish you guys could see this. I don't know what she's doing. What are you doing? Oh, she's running. She's so hyper for her age. She always goes outside to beat another cat's ass. Because she's an outdoor cat and she's always been a badass around here. So she just completely, like, destroys other cats. Like, completely beats them up. Not terrified of anything. See, that's why I like cats. I like dogs. But I honestly like cats more. Just a little bit. Because cats are solitary. And it kind of, like, reminds me of myself. Very solitary, very, uh, um, curious, very observable. And they are really badass. Especially lions. <laughs> she wants to play or something. Um, lions are my favorite animal, obviously. Um, where was I? This cat keeps distracting me, so I apologize in advance for the distractions of my cat. And she's just looking at me. Um, hallucinations. That's what this topic of video is about. Um, so my hallucinations ever, my first ever hallucination that I remember is a ghost. Not your stereotypical ghost of like a white sheet over their fucking head and like two holes. Nothing like that. I mean, it was kind of like that because I couldn't really see. And... It was in, I was like five, and I was in my mom's room sleeping, and I could see a big-ass figure. It was, re like, really big. It was probably about as long as my wingspan, and I, my, my wingspan's huge. Hold on. Uh. My wingspan is, like, pretty ginormous. Um, I'm only five, I'm only five foot eleven. But I, I weigh like 130, so I'm like super skinny and like, I don't know. But the wingspan or the weight of this object or person, whatever you want to call it, was like really, really big. And it was like almost filled up the whole room because it was like straight. I was like laying in the bed like this and it was like straight in front of me against the wall. I'm out of breath. Man, I'm out of shape. Why am I out of breath? Okay. Um, and then I saw it like coming towards me very slowly. And that like freaked me out because I was like looking at it for a second. I was looking. Man. I'm out of breath. See, if I knew what editing was and if I knew how to edit, I'd probably edit this out. But then again, that's, stu that's stupid and boring. People want to see realness and whatever. At least I do. But, uh, it was, like, moving towards me very slowly. And this was the most vivid hallucination that I can even remember of that age. It was just moving, moving. Got on the bed, but I didn't really feel it. I didn't feel it. Got on the bed, bam. I put the covers over my head. I stayed like that for a few minutes because I was terrified to look. And to my, uh, I don't know what kind of phrase you use for that uh so i took the covers off my head looked really fast to see if it was still there gone and i was like whoo because that was that was like that was like traumatizing to me because that was the first time i ever like hallucinated i think or at least to my knowledge that's the first time i ever hallucinated and i ever since that time i slept with the covers over my face for years and I, looking back on it, I'm like, holy shit. How did I do that? Honestly, how did I do that? Because I try it now just to, like, 
kind of like see what it's like because I used to do that. I did it. I was like, I can't breathe at all through this thing. I can't breathe. And that like made me realize, man, that was bad shit. I know I was really young. Having to deal with that stuff when you're young is really hard. And you don't really know what you're what to do because you're not even in you weren't even in this world for a very long time. I was five, six years old. I was only been here for five, six years and like the past the beginning I don't remember anything because I was so young. So someone having to go through that when they're like very young is uh shitty. But I live with it because I can't change anything. All I'm going to do is try to be the best person I can be, try to help as many people as I can, figure out the theory of everything, which is going to be difficult, but I don't know. Um, so that was probably my first hallucination I had, to my knowledge. And then from there on out, I was hallucinating, I don't know how often, I was hallucinating quite a bit. Um, not sure how often, but after that I was hallucinating skeletons. And back then I was very terrified of skeletons. Now, what's weird to me is why was I terrified of skeletons? That, ma that makes no sense to me. Why would I be terrified of skeletons? I don't know. But then, me and my girlfriend actually talked about this also. My theme for hallucinations and delusions and paranoia and everything is death. It has everything to do with death, which is kind of like shitty and weird because I, I know even before I was five, six, I was hallucinating things that were dead, skeletons, uh, ghosts, shit like that. Everything I have to deal with, paranoias, Delusions, hallucinations, voices, it's all death. It has, it has to do with death every time. Um, and that was even before I, was, I went to a bunch of funerals. And then when I went to about like eight to ten funerals within a couple years, then it just like enhanced by like a hundred times. And now it's not going to go away. Like, it's fascinating. It fascinates me. Death is the most fascinating thing to me. Well, one of the most fascinating things. Because what happens when we die? Huh? Do we go to heaven or hell? Mm, no. I don't think so. Possibly. You know, 50-50. But highly doubtful. Because, I don't know. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Our bodies after we die, where's the energy going to go? Is it going to go? Where's it, where's it going to go? I don't know. That'd be pretty cool to find out. I mean, but I wouldn't want to find out in my physical form, my physical body. Would not want to find out. I want to wait until after I die to figure out that stuff. Uh, man, I'm like really, I'm like extremely hyper for some reason. I don't know why. Um, then uh, after skeletons, uh, it was the girl from the ring, um, Samara, whatever. I think that's her name. I saw the, I just saw the new ring with my girlfriend. It was actually really good. I was surprised about how good it was. It had more backstory, kind of have, a, kind of had a story, you know. Very very good movie. Didn't really scare me. Nothing nowadays scares me. Um, no hallucination scares me. I mean, it's kind of terrifying me because I don't like waking up and hallucinating because that happens quite often. I'll just wake up out of nowhere and just start hallucinating. <sighs> And that's, that's like the most freaky thing. That's the only thing that'll actually scare me. But yeah, that stuff, creepy girls, dead people, dead animals, all that. That's usually what it is. I need to wrap up this video because it's almost 15 minutes. I didn't mean to go this long. I meant to only go like 10, 11, 12, something like that, you know. Um, but anyways, uh, subscribe if you enjoy my videos. Like the video if you enjoyed this video. Um... Follow me on all my social medias. It'll all be down in the description below. Uh, I hope everybody has a fantastic day. And I hope everybody enjoys this video. And I will see everybody uh, next Monday. Bye.